Beza Global. The returning soldier effect is a phenomenon which suggests that more males are born during and immediately after wars, than females. According to Psychology Today, the phenomenon became a topic of interest in 1954 with regard to white children born during World War II in the United States. It has since been replicated for most of the warring nations in both world wars. Research published in 1954 by Brian McMahon and Thomas F. Pugh showed that the sex ratio of white births in the United States had shown a marked increase in favor of boys between 1945 and 1947, with a peak in 1946. There is no doubt that the phenomenon is real, but nobody has been able to explain it. Why are soldiers who return from wars more likely to father sons than men who never engaged in combat? The phenomenon was first discussed in 1883 by Carl Dusing of the University of Jena, who suggested that it was a natural regulation of the status quo, meaning this is how the human population naturally balances itself. In 1899, an Australian physician, Arthur Davenport, hypothesized that the cause was the difference between the comparative ill health of the returning troops, compared to the good health of their female partners. In 2007, Satoshi Kanazawa published a paper theorizing that the effect was due to the fact that taller soldiers are more likely to survive battle and that taller parents are more likely to have sons. This was based on his research of British Army records from the First World War, which showed that surviving soldiers were on average more than one inch taller than fallen soldiers. The excess boys born during and immediately after the world wars might be a consequence of the fact that taller soldiers, who are more likely to have sons to begin with, are more likely to survive the war and return home, whereas shorter soldiers, who are more likely to have daughters, are less likely to survive the war and return home to have daughters. Studies show that the taller soldiers who return from war have a 5% higher chance of having a son. Because so many men, nearly one third of those between the ages of 15 and 40 in the UK, were mobilized during World War I, the 5% increase in the odds of having a son for the taller surviving soldiers translates into millions of excess boys. It is more than sufficient to account for the entire returning soldier effect in the UK after World War I. Author Valerie Grant attributed it to changing hormone levels of women during war, as they tended to adopt more dominant roles. With their male partners not around, females would do more of the things that males would typically do for them, perhaps their diets would even change slightly. Whatever the reason may be, I think we can all agree that it truly is, bizarre. Join our cult of tinfoil hat wearers. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.